What's up YouTube and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the Raid Intel skips and black box locations on critical, regular and low for the raid starting on the 29th of October running through to the 4th of November which is Project Titan Week 258. Thank you for supporting our channel. We love all of our fans and hope that you'll continue to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already or even donate using the link in our description below. We truly make these Raid Intel and Black Box videos for you, and it's your support that helps motivate us each week, and then allows you to quickly complete the raids and collect the Black Boxes as soon as the Project Titan week begins. This week, for Critical, the modifiers will be Friendly Fire, Injuries Bleed, and Realistic Reload. And using the intel skips, you need to start by grabbing one intel at the abandoned site, also known by players as the fishing village. Once you have that, you can input the password into the node at the top of chemical pipeline, which will open up the circle to fight Bao at the chemical refinery. After you've destroyed the tank titan, you can head into sector 2. Gargoyle requires two intels at Salamander, then the interrogation of the sniper at Camp Phoenix, and lastly, inputting the password he gives you into the node at Testing Zone, which then means he can take on the Flying Titan at Testing Zone as well. And Supercomputer just requires the four nodes at Missile Site Ruins to be pressed together before you can enter the building in the sea to take down Quantum. Once you've beaten Gargoyle and Supercomputer, you can move into Sector 3. Cerberus just requires the hack and defend of the node at Scandium Mine to unlock the last Titan battle at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the Critical Raid. And if looking for the black boxes on Critical this week, there are two in Sector 1. The first at Satellite Dish, and the other at Chemical Pipeline. Then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first at Camp Phoenix, and the other at Missile Site Ruins. And finally there's two more in Sector 3, the first at Scandia Mine, with the last being at No Man's Land. In summary, the modifiers are likely to frustrate some squads this week, because we know realistic reload can be annoying if you forget about it. So maybe think about a reduced clip size, visiting more bivouacs, or just wearing ammo increasing gear if this modifier does bother you. Some players also like to wear gear that prevent injuries, especially in a week with injuries bleed as a modifier. But from our experience, we're not convinced of the benefits, and think there are better perks, although we do appreciate different people have different play styles, so we'll leave that one up to you. Then, the intel trail is not bad again this week either, with lots of fairly quick trails in all the sectors. Depending on how your squad likes to play and your own ability, it can be a good idea to split up occasionally if you're looking to save more time. Also, the intel trail for supercomputer can be done en route to the quantum building in the sea, but however you choose, do remember that if you run into any problems, please comment below and we'll try to help you out so you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular and low, there are no modifiers and it does just use last week's critical intel and black box locations. To begin, you'll need to press four nodes at Ancient Harbour, which will give access to Bow at the chemical refinery. And after you beat this boss, you can head into Sector 2. Gargoyle requires five panels at Camp Phoenix to be destroyed. Then you can fight the Flying Titan at Testing Zone. And Supercomputer will need one intel at Salamander before defending the node at the back of Testing Zone. Now you can take on Quantum at the building in the sea. With both the Titans in Sector 2 beaten, you can advance into Sector 3. For Cerberus you'll need to press four nodes at Lava Duct, which although its gates are technically locked, it can still be accessed, with our favourite way being to team wipe at the wall to the left of Lava Duck's western gate. Once you press the four nodes at Lava Duct, you'll have access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular and low raids. And if looking for the black boxes on regular or low this week, there is one in Sector 1, which is at Heliport. Then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first at Camp Phoenix and the other at Testing Zone, and finally, there's two more in Sector 3, the first at Scandium Mine, with the last being at Prototype Workshop. That's all for now. We hope you've enjoyed our Intel and Black Box video enough to leave a like and comment, plus subscribe or donate if you haven't already. 
Please do also continue letting your friends know about our channel, because it's all of your support that motivates us to make our content. So until next time, peace out, the unlucky lads.